If I told you about her, the princess without voice, what would I say? On pourrait dire que seule une femme muette, qui est donc marginalisée, peut comprendre un monstre aquatique, prisonnier des humains, aux fins d'expérimentation scientifique. Aux commandes de cette fable fantastique, on retrouve le réalisateur mexicain Guillermo del Toro, amoureux comme jamais de la beauté des monstres et de ce qu'elle révèle du monde. This creature is intelligent, capable of understanding emotions. He's had this vision for a long time. He's wanted to do this story about a woman who falls in love with this extraordinary creature. The shape of water is the shape of love. Love and water are the most malleable, powerful things in the universe. I asked Doug to join the movie because he is an actor. He's not a performer. If you don't have an actor inside that suit, you don't have a movie. This is my sixth feature film with him. I'm so blessed that he trusts me with these characters that are so beloved to him. This creature is a presence. He needed to have a very strong ancient energy, and Doug got it. Guillermo gave me the best notes. He says, he's a combination. You played the Silver Surfer. He's part Silver Surfer, part Matador. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I said to Doug, you're gonna stand like a Toreador. Very masculine in the way they find their center. He's graceful, he's strong, he's athletic, and there's a sexiness to it, to a Toreador. We need to take it apart, learn how it works. What happened? It's an animal, just keeping it tame. The fish man is more primal, more animalistic. He's never interacted with culture of any sort. If you look at his performance, it's really remarkable. I want to create a moment on film that will last forever, and he's that director that can make immortal things happen on film. Comme toujours chez le réalisateur, les monstres ne sont pas ceux qui en ont l'apparence. Avec la forme de l'eau, Guillermo del Toro est à l'apogée de sa réflexion sur la condition humaine et la place des exclus dans notre société. La Mostra de Venise ne s'y est pas trompée en lui décernant son lion d'or et Hollywood en nominant le film aux Oscars.